Hey y'all, out here at Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and he's got a really nice uh, 62 Corvette street rod he's just got done putting the interior in. So let me run Steve down and we'll take a look at it. Steve, how are you, brother? Doing good, Scotty. How you doing? Outstanding. Got another one done? We did. Got a whole list of them to do, but we got another one done. <laughs> Seems like they come in waves, don't they? I uh, mean, we got uh, this one, Birchetted one, and there's another C1 sitting around here. Yeah, and I've got another one that was supposed to be coming in before too long. But yeah, there's a lot of them being built right now. Man, this is a good looking car. <clears throat> to, uh, man, dude. I yeah, like we put all the red right? leather in. This one's the Jack Shepard out of Augusta, Georgia. Yeah? Yeah. He brought it up to us and wanted us to, he said, do our magic. So we done a little bit of magic in there. Man, that's beautiful. That turned out nice. Thank you. And I yeah. accused him of having alloy gauges in it, but that's, that's his, his own, own gauge. Yeah, that's cool. Chef, yeah. Chef is on, he's on top of it, man, <laughs> for sure. No, I like that. I like the cross flags in the uh, tachometer, too, in the center of it. Yeah. And that's cool, dude. He's fixed to take it back. He's got a few little things, like to putting the horn button on it. He's got mock-up wheels on the front. You know, fill a few little details on it, and he's going to try to get it to a... Uh, um, shades? No. Columbus? Well, it'll be a shades. I, I guarantee you that. Yeah, he's trying to get it ready for Columbus here. Holy cow. Here Columbus in the next week. Next week. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, I love that door panel, man. How Thank cool you. is that? Yeah, all this is a, uh, all this is handmade. It sort of looks like the outside of the car a little bit. Yeah, it does. It's all got a three-dimensional look. We made the a stainless trim, the aluminum trim come in behind the handles right here right. gave it a little pretty cool look and then you left an opener so you can actually see that stainless go through there that's cool right man. i thought that looked pretty neat a little neat right. touch you can actually look through it and then uh made all the kick panels and everything to match you know blend in with this right all of the dash you know is a uh, custom color covered with the leather with the same silver stitch in it we put the silver stitch in there where to I like uh, that, yeah. Accent the. Uh, and I like I like how you did the center of the seat separate. Like the stitching doesn't go all the way around. Yeah. It's like stitched on the outside, and then the center of that seat is just by itself. I love that, man. Yeah, wow. I actually, Brockmeyer done a drawing on it, so we got it pretty close to what Brockmeyer. Right. Uh, originally drawn up on it. You always can't make them exact, but we put our own yeah, little, right. Personal touches to it. We used his design and then went the, went the rest way with it. You know, we made a little console there with the. Oh, that's nice. You can put a cell phone or whatever in there. Dude, that's... Keys, like, you know, whatever. It's the little details, too. And then, you know, cut oh, all yeah, that very back nice, there in yeah. the red leather. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's got a great stance. Very cool car. <clears throat> then same with the trunk. Okay. It's actually got a sub subwoofer back in here. And then we cut out a hole for that and it cut little... Uh, drill hose underneath the plastic right and then put carpet over it so you can get the sound through that but everything's just neat clean and um yeah fitted real nice and then even the even the, the mini tub right there mm -hmm. got that and that looks really nice and clean and all and then folks just look how the lines line up on it you know i mean that's what you tell with quality is not just how it looks a finished product but just look how straight all their lines are and how everything is symmetrical and lines up and it's perfect one side to the other it's just I'm mm -hmm. just bragging about my buddy again, but <laughs> <laughs> even though we have deadlines, I won't let it go out unless it looks good. No, sir, you won't. It can't, you know, our name's on it and our customers, you know, that's why they bring it to us for. They want the, you know, a good job. That's it. No, they know when it comes here, they're not going to be disappointed. You know, that's for sure. No, I really like that. I like how the, because I'm always on you about m mounting those head units in the dash yeah. from like 1970, you know. But the, the, when you put the big screen one in there, it looks modern. It looks cool. And I like what you did with the little uh, vent coming out of the side of down there, too. Yeah, those was actually Jack, Jack Shepard uh, placed the vents. We yeah. just put them back in the place that he put them in. No, that's cool, man. But I'm stitched to, you know, we, I don't want everything to match, so we put the same stitching into the boot and stuff like that. So everything sure. looks... What, did he get two sets of floor mats? No, it's just got one. One's, one is the floor itself. Oh, okay. So that's the floor itself, right. and we bound that in the right. leather. And then we make a set of floor mats that actually mimic what the floor looks like. I got you. That way everything looks, you know, it looks neat, yeah. nice and neat looking. Very cool. 
Now, a lot of places you don't even get floor mats when you get an interior. We we try to throw that in too. So. No, that's one of the things that, uh, yeah, if I, I think I can afford a set of floor mats from Holcomb's. I can't get an interior, but I'm hoping to get a plus set of floor mats. There you go. And you say Jack's going to put different wheels on the front, of course. Right. Man, that's cool. It's got a killer looking stance. I mean, it's a bad looking car. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, the stance Sounds is good, right. Everything. Did a nice job on it. Mm -hmm. I think he did a lot of work himself. He did. Yeah. You said that's a 427? He said it was a small block 400, bored out, and everything made a 427 out of it. Boy, look at that. I like how they do the red suspension pieces, too, mm -hmm. which really just pops on this silver car, you know? Now he's finished all the inner fenders. Oh, yeah, the hole underneath the car is just as nice as the top of the car. Yeah. Well, when we get the shop on and running, then we can uh, pull these things up on the uh, rack. Yeah, pull them Stay. on the rack and check them out. Man, awesome. Brother, you rocked another one. Appreciate it, Scotty. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Folks, there you go. There's a 62 Corvette, Jack Shepard's Corvette from Pro Auto Custom Interiors. Very cool. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.